Okay, November 1st, 2021. It is, if you can see that, 41 degrees out. We'll do a cold start. The truck has not been ran in a week.
overhauled 100,000 miles ago. As I mentioned, the 100 gallon tank. There's a little surface rust here and there, but overall, I think it's in pretty good shape yet. Motorcycle mount, if you want to haul a bike. Got a toolbox and all four back tires match, so they're not mismatched. Just to show you how easy it's seized up and rusty. Take her for a spin. on cruise control, radio. Thousand pound, and the uh, upper ones are five thousand pounds. Kind of overkill for the back ones. I didn't know when I ordered them, but they work. I've had skid steers up here. So, video of the engine. Overflow tanks been replaced. The wiper mechanism, motor, everything. Arms are have been changed up here. The EGR is all hooked up and functional, but nothing will flow through it. There's also where the cooler goes down to the other side, it comes out the exhaust manifold is a plug welded in it. So you don't have to worry about exhaust gases getting back into the intake and dirty soot. And oil actually stays clean for a couple thousand miles. It's still crystal clear. So, here's a video of this side. Uh, Muffler used to 
place to go in and then spiral around off the top. I actually sliced it, turned it around 180 and pig welded it all back together. So it's a straight through muffler. It's pretty quiet, yeah, but more free flowing. This airbag was replaced a couple of years, two years ago maybe. The shock actually broke off and put a hole in it. So the shocks were replaced too. And the airbag at the time. Ball stand with the, the two balls you need. Some all these work lights and emergency lights work. It has not had a DOT inspection since 2019. It has the fire extinguisher and the orange triangles are underneath the bed. There's a nice old storage compartment underneath there. Made some window blinds that kind of push in there. Everything, every detail, so if anyone has any questions. That is the parking light, because the parking brakes on it, obviously. Other than that, there is no check engine light. And I'll show you that the actually check engine light does come on, because some people take the bulbs out and tell you that they don't come on. But all the See all the lights do work. Nothing's untampered with. Comes in with everything in here. You got wheel chocks. You have four ratchet straps. They're dirty. They got wet, a little rusty, but they're in good shape. I went through everything. Make sure the straps are good. Get the trailer receiver hitch. A jack stand for getting this wheel on and off your camper. Brand new four way extension, four foot, seven way extension cord. That's for that. Spare belt. Pretty much everything you need. You need a, you'll need your own um, trailer battery and box, stuff like that. I'd recommend a jumper box and some wood in there too in case your trailers are low. Once in a while they'll have the step on the trailer hangs down just barely touches that so you have to put put a piece of wood on there or if you get a back haul in a really low profile car it helps to extend the ramps out toolboxes themselves are in okay shape i think this one leaks a little maybe the door didn't seal tight up the front yeah i don't know i mess with it but i reinforced them with these and they also got bars going across the top bolting on so they're all right, yeah, they don't seem to last too long unless you get ones with the stainless hinges. The other side, driver's side toolbox. It's part of the hinges is gone, but she works pretty good. I mean, it's pretty stout. Yeah, a little wet inside. It's been sitting for a couple of years. I hadn't opened them in a while, so. The locks do work on both toolboxes and they, they're keyed differently. The keys work so you can lock everything up fine. Does have a trailer brake controller and it does work, but I keep it unplugged because trailers are much smaller than the truck and if the wheel locks up you don't know. And in the wintertime it sucks, so I just leave it unplugged. This more outside pretty much wraps it up. I guess if anybody has any questions, I guess there's a little plastic. But headlights, I actually I replaced them when I bought the truck because they were so faded. They actually, they're really good headlights and light up the road really well. If anybody has any questions, you can just comment below or email me I have this advertise in a few spots
Here we got her all loaded up, ready to head out west. Just got a few things to button up yet, but almost there. 